Hello, this is Tanya with TK Sewing Machine and Repair, and today I have a Singer 15. Uh, nice machine. Um, it, these machines are straight stitchers only. It has a, a potted motor, and which means the motor uh, drives the machine direct with a worm gear. And so it makes it a stronger machine, and people prefer to use these machines um, when they're doing heavier duty sewing like um, like upholstery and stuff like that. And so um, I'm going to show you how to thread the machine. So take the thread on the spool pin through this guide, through the tension disc, over the hook, underneath the take up spring through this through this thread guide through the thread guide on the needle bar and then thread it from right to left I have a leather needle in this machine right now because I was testing it uh, sewing leather and then roll the wheel towards you to pick up the bobbin thread and then sweep the threads behind you just like that. So let's do some stitches on some leather. I've already done a lot of stitching on this piece of leather. So here we go. Always start with your needle down. To go in reverse, you just lift the lever all the way up. And this is also your thread length uh, lever. So if you want a shorter stitch, you move it up. And if you wanted to lock that stitch in to a certain length, then uh, you would adjust this knob up and lock it down and then you could make smaller stitches. But with sewing leather and heavier fabrics, I recommend that you um, use a longer stitch because it's easier on the machine and it looks better uh, on the uh, fabric too. And then back tack and and I ran out of bobbin thread <laughs> how appropriate <laughs> right at the end to load the bobbin you take the bobbin case out and this got all messed up There we go. With the thread going over the top, counterclockwise, you put it through the slot on the side of the bobbin case underneath this piece of metal right here and into that tab and it'll pop. And then firmly Put the bobbin case back in the machine and then pick up the bobbin thread rolling the wheel towards you and pull it up. Uh, to wind a bobbin you put your bobbin case your bobbin on the spindle and let's see here I find bobbin that has thread on it. And thread that I can pull off. There we go. Put the thread underneath the thread guide right there. 
wind it around the bobbin a few times. There's a little pin on the bobbin assembly and there's a slot on the bobbin and you want those to match up so the bobbin will lock into place. And then you wind your bobbin. then once your bobbin is wound cut it off and then you put it uh, back into your machine um, the only thing that you need to do to this machine to make sure that it runs for your lifetime is to oil it and so you would take this plate off you would take the plate off the back of it and you would put oil into uh, uh, anywhere metal meets metal and also tip the machine over and put oil wherever metal meets metal underneath the machine. There are oil ports here and you can certainly use those but I like to open the machine up and uh, oil it that way. Um, the other thing that you need to do particularly if you're going to be sewing uh, upholstery fabrics and things like that is to take these two screws off of the feed dog plate, remove this plate, and clean your feed dogs because um, you'll find that your machine will run better if it's cleaned. And then after you clean out the feed dogs with a little brush, a toothbrush, and maybe a vacuum cleaner, then drop some oil in there and it'll keep it running smoothly. So if this machine ends up in your home, I hope you enjoy it.